What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to replace a TV screen in Photoshop just like this. What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys in Photoshop how to replace one of those ugly black TV screens and kind of put a nice scene or landscape picture in there. That way you can make it pop a little bit more and bring it to life. Before we get started here in just a moment, if we're just meeting for the first time, my name is Jonathan and I help real estate creatives make the most out of their business. So if you're new here and you're looking to get some value, consider subscribing down below. But let's go ahead and jump into the computer, into Photoshop, and let's get started. All right, guys, so here we are inside of Photoshop. This is the picture that we're working with here. And as we can see, there's really, it shows the entire space. It shows the nice window off into the distance, as well as the TV screen above the fireplace mantle. But what we wanna do is we wanna make it pop a little bit more. And instead of getting that ugly black reflective look, we're gonna go ahead and throw a nice landscape scene on there to make it look a little bit better. So let's go ahead and jump in here. We're gonna first start off with zoom in all the way up in here. And by no means is this the right way to do it. This is just how I do it. So if you know of a better way or something that works for you, then feel free to do so. So I'm gonna come up in here and I'm gonna grab this rectangle and I wanna make sure my fill is set to white. That way I can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw this out. No particular size, I, cause I'm gonna go ahead and skew this later. So once I set that, what you first want to do, and, and it's crucial to get this done out of the way first before you do anything else, go ahead and right click here on your rectangle and click convert to smart object. Now by making that a smart object, what that's going to allow us to do is going to allow us to go ahead and double click here and going into the smart object. So anything that we change here, anything that we adjust, we'll go ahead and reflect on the other side. So for example, I'm going to draw out another rectangle here, just a yellow rectangle, nothing crazy. I can go ahead and save that by hitting Command S and then it'll reflect on the other document. So we're gonna use that to our advantage here. Having our rectangle selected, we're gonna go ahead and hit Command T on our keyboard and we're gonna go ahead and right click here and we're gonna go ahead and hit Distort. So now we can freely move these corners and make it fit our TV screen the way we want it. And always remember, most TV screens have a bezel around them, so you wanna consider that by leaving a little black line around the edges. So we'll go ahead and adjust this a little bit. And that looks pretty good to me. If you wanna get pretty specific, you can definitely zoom in and make sure you hit your corners right. But I'm pretty happy with it. I think that looks good to me. So I'll hit enter. Now I'll zoom out. Now, what we want to do in here is grab some type of nice landscape picture, some type of beach or maybe the Grand Canyon, something like that. So let's go ahead and go into our browser and in the top, we're going to type in unsplash.com. There it is. And in here, these are a ton of free to use photos uploaded by photographers like you and I, and you can use them freely for whatever you want. So. I'm just gonna go in here and you can, you know, click wallpapers, nature, whatever you want. I'm just gonna search beach. So let's go ahead and find a nice beach here. What is important here when you're browsing these photos is to consider a photo that is in the landscape mode, not something that's portrait, because when you size it for the screen, a portrait image is gonna have to be zoomed in quite a bit to cover the screen. So we're gonna wanna make sure that we're grabbing a landscape photo. Um, I kind of like this here. I think this is what McWay Falls. So once we have that, we can grab that, download it, and then bring it right in here. Go ahead and hold option on your keyboard and scale it up. Hit enter. And then when you hit command S to save that, hit command W to close that. And then boom, it's populated right on our other document right over here. So that looks pretty good so far. Some people prefer to leave this image as is because it pops a lot and it looks really good. Um, sometimes I like to make sure I have my item selected and then I'll just drop the opacity just a little bit to make it look a little bit more realistic. So I'm at about 72%. Let's just take it down to 70% and that looks pretty good to me. So I can go ahead and zoom out and I'm pretty happy with that there. I think that looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and click both of these layers, command E to merge, and then we can save that. And here's the final product. 
All right guys, so that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward to just take any landscape scene and put it into a TV on Photoshop to make your images pop just a little bit more. If you guys got any value out of today's video whatsoever, do me a big favor, hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. That's gonna help the channel out a lot. I have a lot more of this content stuff coming for you guys. If you guys have any questions, you wanna see me do a video on anything or anything like that, feel free to drop a comment. Let's interact a little bit down there. Um, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a good day. Peace out.